Now for the fill level color, we have to add one more additional fill in this structure. This is not a fill actually, this is a table. Because in one internal table, if you have multiple fills, and if you want to do the color coding of multiple fills, then we have to use one internal table concepts. So first add the fill name. We can add any fill name here. Okay, but assign the type like slice underscore t underscore special color alb. Okay, slice underscore t underscore special color alb. After typing some word, press Control plus space. Then we'll see this option. Okay. This act as an internal table. This is a type of internal table. If you double click here, see, this is a type of this structure. Fill name, color, no key column. Okay. Go back. And now we'll declare one work area for this. Okay. We'll declare one work area for this. So here, just add the work area, js underscore field of type series underscore of same special color alb. Fine. Now, as for the row level coloring, we have added one if else statement here. Similarly, for fill level also, we have to add that if else statement. Okay, so here what I'm doing, I'm adding here some condition. Let's say if my net amount is greater than, like greater than equal to 1000. Okay, then I want to assign some different color to the field. Okay, so always clear the work area js underscore fill and here we have to add the fill name first. So which fill we want to color. So here what I will do, mm, let's say js underscore fill and first is fill name and this is sort table. So if you are assigning multiple fills, okay, then add that in the alphabetical order. So here I want to color the net wr field. Okay, this field I want to color and which color we want to assign. Which color we want to assign. So for that, like color under sorry. For that the column name is color. As one, I'm assigning single color this time. I'm not using intensified and inverse. And okay, let's say six. I want to assign here color code as six. And then append js underscore field to js underscore. is underscore list hyphen fill underscore color. This is our internal table structure, right? So we have to append, we have to append this to this internal table. Okay, clear gs underscore fill. And if you want to color multiple fills of the same row, then repeat this and as the sort table to so assign the values properly in the order. Okay, and what I will do here, I will modify this time transporting fill underscore color. Save, check and activate.
okay gs underscore list fill color and modify okay now now as for the row color we have added that fill name in the info underscore f name similarly for gs underscore layout for fill color here one field called c tab name this is called c tab underscore f name so here we have to add the fill name which we have used for the fill your coloring okay save check and activate now if i execute the report see on the right hand side on this column we can see based on our conditions as i have written a condition whenever the total amount is greater than equal to 1000 then we are assigned that color here so you can see three values are there where the amount is greater than 1000 and you can see a different color color id 6 here okay so in this way we have done with this session we have learned how to do a column level coloring like here i assign green color yellow and then we have learned the row level coloring okay and last we will learn how to do a individual field level coloring so in this way we are done with the session coloring in the AV report thank you